I'm going to read out a small passage uh, for you guys from my book. I went to a restaurant that was based on this thali concept where everything was served on a traditional banana leaf. I was served 32 dishes that were on my plate and imagine my luck. Uh, Mr. Subramaniam came up with another dish which was tamarind or lemon rice also called puli hora in Telugu. Puli means sar and hora means rice. This dish was made at every festival and auspicious occasion as an offering to God. Mr. Supramaniam explained to me that in Andhra, even savory items like Pulihara are served to God on festivals. Welcome to the Nutrella Healthy Kitchen. Today, I'm going to teach you this authentic recipe but with my own twist to make it a lot healthier. A nice plate. I'm going to add cooked rice to this. I cooked this rice yesterday because I want every grain to be separate. I kept it in the fridge. That is the thumb rule of making a good puli hora. See, every grain is separate. Just the traditional way, roasted sesame powder. Salt, sesame oil, mix. The aromas are already divine. You know, a lot of people in South do this. They have this mulga pudi ghee rice where they pour in ghee, mulga pudi, they mix it with rice and they just have it like this. In fact, I can't resist. I'm going to just try a little bit of it. Mm. This is already so good. Wow. So I'm going to leave this on the side. I have soaked Nutrella soya chunks for five minutes. It's time to cook them. Water. I'm going to add soaked soya in boiling water with salt. Our Nutrella soya chunks are cooked. We leave them to cool down in cold water and let's start our tarka on the side. Fill ka tel, sesame oil is what I'm going to add, not too much. I like to call this a tamarind tarka. Oil is already hot. First things, first I'm going to add some rye. As you know, all the tarka combinations in South almost always have oil and chana dal in them. A hint of ginger. Well, after adding ginger, let's add a little hing. Green chilies. The green chilies are already giving their flavor out, so let's also add the red chilies. Peanuts. Kadi patta. A touch of haldi. The main ingredient, ladies and gentlemen, tamarind. And the last ingredient to cut the sourness, touch of jaggery. Water, one fourth or two tablespoons, that's it. Well, this is my twist to the puli hora recipe. This is a Nutrella soya puli hora because what we have done is, these Nutrella chunks will add 52 grams of protein because 100 grams of Nutrella is going in to our puli hora recipe. Now, a recipe which only had rice and carbs will have protein as well. And flavours will absolutely be the same the way you get in Andhra. The thumb rule of mixing a puli hora is we will cool this down and then mix it with the rice. And that's how puli hora is made. Shut the gas off. The rice is back. And cool down Nutrella, tamarind mixture goes to the rice. Mix. We are going to present it just the way it's presented in Andhra. Ah. So well, this is the way you could offer it to God first and then go on with your meal. You can make many more such recipes from soya with any other rice preparation that you do. Could be a kichri, could be a pulao, the choice is yours. If you have any interesting recipe, please share it with us. We would love to learn from it and share it with other people as well. Do subscribe to our channel and remember, it's simple to cook, try it.